Hello and welcome to another episode of Kill Ant Reviews. I know it's been a while, uh, but I did actually read several several books. I just haven't had much time. Time to really do much filming. Uh, but right now, actually, I completed one of my bigger books, which is The Chronicles of Narnia, the whole series by C.S. Lewis. And I did it actually, and I did enjoy the enjoy the whole book series. Zoe's couple of the books were I did not like, um, but I'm actually gonna, just going to go ahead and rank them. Uh, this is obviously the whole whole series. This is a humongous book. Uh, each each of the like individual books in there, which is about seven of them, uh, they they range for about well between I think 90 and 110 pages so the books themselves aren't very long but there are kids books so I don't really care and overall I I love the series uh, but there were a couple books that I actually didn't even like so I did go ahead and I did rank them uh, first of all the cover of this version yeah I like it it kind of feels like it's like hand painted with symbol with symbols and stuff like the whole fur it definitely blends in. So, over, and I've seen some of the older books too. Their uh, their covers all right. Some have a better. Some actually look like kind of like the older style kids ones, and others look a little bit more like this. Uh, so let me go ahead and start ranking ranking the books. Uh, number seven is Horse as Boy. This is actually the only book I I did not like. I could not keep my interest at all. It's just the characters were just dull. It's not, I didn't care for really anyone, and I really had a hard time actually following the story. I was just like, oh god, I can't, I can't like relate to any of these guys. None of them are really interesting. But overall, that was pretty much the only one that I really didn't like. Uh, the next one is the Silver Chair. Which brings back one of the kids from the from uh, Voyage of the Dawn Trader. I think it's like Eustace or something. It's been a been a while since I researched these kids kids' names. I'm terrible with names, but it brings him and a girl in there. And overall, it's it's all right. It started off pretty good, though. Halfway through, I started to get a little bit bored with the thing, but then I picked right back up. So overall, de decent book, not the best. Number five is The Last Battle. Obviously it brings back a bunch of characters from the pre from the previous books. So I did I did did not like this like what they did to Susan, because I only briefly mentioned her, someone was like, Oh yeah, she's into all the all this normal teenager stuff, so she's no longer can come over here. Yeah, it's a little bit bit judgmental. But it did have have some interesting characters, including a donkey that dressed up as a lion, and an old ape that was basically the like the worst character in in this book. Like I actually ended up hating him a lot. But the last battle, it's not bad. It's it's not bad. It's uh for a final book, it was pretty good. Number four is Magician's Nephew. This is probably the one I actually laughed at the most, especially when the animals were basically messing with this one guy how uh, they didn't know if he, what he was whether he was animal or plant so they basically planted him in the ground face up and basically smeared him with food and honey trying to figure out what he is and it did show the origins of the of the witch so and of course like a couple characters for the next for the next book so I didn't this is when the books start to get really really good so Magician's Nephew is a good book loved it uh, Voyage of the Dawn Trader, another solid book which introduces another character that you start hating because the guy is, the kid is so, oh my god, so freaking entitled. Hate that character so much, but then like halfway through he becomes uh, tellable and actually likable, so I was kind of glad that happened, so. So they could be, so he had actually kind of a redemption, kind of like a redemption arc from his attitude. And it also brought back like like Lucy and Prince Caspian. I haven't seen the movie though. So but the movie basically didn't do that. Didn't do that well since they didn't make another sequel. Plus they did the whole series out of order. They skipped horse and boy and stuff. 
Next is Prince Caspian. The book is a lot different from the movie. I saw the movie and the book had a lot of good scenes, like a lot of good stuff in it that the movie omitted in order to get more battle scenes, action, which I didn't like. It's like, you know, I like action, but you, it wasn't faithful. Uh, Prince Caspian, they made it like, like a guy who was like in his teenager or young adult. I don't know how, my, how old some of these guys are since uh, movies like to cast 20 year olds as teenagers. But he looked like a high school student when in the book he was much younger. Which I didn't really appreciate. It's like, eh. And he wasn't a good character character in the movie either. He was kind of forgettable. While in the book he was a great character. Uh, the beginning chapters which introduces him and shows his personality was great. But it's definitely number two. And number one, it obviously, is Lion and Rage in the Wardrobe. I love this. I love this book. Uh, I ended up actually actually reading it when I was in elementary school, so it was great just to reread it. So, what do I give this series overall? Um, not 10 out of 10 because I didn't like Horse and Sport and Silver Chair my spell were decent, but I'm giving it like a 9 out of 10, like obviously the symbolism, you have, you have the lion, which honestly, I don't think the lion really was that good of a character, since he just like seems to just pop up, but he's definitely important to the plot. But, honestly, easy, easy 9 out of 10. Highly recommend it. If you have a kid, this is like a good set of books to read them. A good, it's, decent, it's good for like, for like young adults. Um, yeah, so that's my, so that's my review of this. This is why, actually, some of my, why it took so long to get some of my reviews in. Because I was reading this, and it was another humongous book I actually finished too. And I think I got a couple more. I'm almost done with a, with a couple other books other books. I'm not sure why. i just been like, after getting through those big books, I've just been on a reading frenzy. Uh, so next time, until next time, this is Killer Ant.